my memory is a bit rusty. So I'll just bullet points it. Uh, I... Was it Kent who died? Yeah, yeah. Matt, uh, Joe killed him. And... I don't remember much of the session, yeah. Besides, yeah. Uh, I killed Kent and... Yeah, the last one was a short one, so I guess... And, and you got, like, this USB from this Nosferatu guy? Oh, right. Yeah, and I gave it to you. Yeah, to Iris, and Iris right now should be like really hungry right now because because she fed Kent a bit of blood. So I see her trying to go and get fed herself. I, I, oh, I, I, left, I left the place because mm -hmm. I was going to go. Uh, the fuck was I gonna go do? I was gonna go check something out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I got a phone call, and it was from someone who was pretending to be Kenny. Right, I was going to go check that out. But mm -hmm. I think he he seems to think that I'm... He, he already knows I'm not going to turn up there, because uh, he hung up on me. Um, I think he knows where we are now. Yeah, well, that doesn't matter. I was on my way there anyway. He had called us because... We had Kent, and he the guy, the guy who well. wanted to meet you was the same guy who who left Kent, or a girl, or whatever it is. Or that's what I, what uh, Joe thinks, at least. So he was going to go see you, uh, what, what the deal was with that. Just don't know what you expect to find. You probably won't even turn up now. Mm -hmm. No, probably not, but I'll at least check out uh, the location. Doesn't matter. And I don't know what Evelyn was planning to do yet. Her place is like pretty much trashed. Well, the, I left the three yeah. of you in that place, and yeah. then we had... Uh, uh, the doctor and uh, the priest, they were somewhere else. Right? They were on the island, trying to get off that island. Yeah, Dominic and, uh, were and Rowan boat. were on a boat most of the time, and then we managed to get to land, and I think we got a car and got out of there. Mm -hmm. That's not it? And that was pretty much it. And that place you were at, that was the place where the Tremere... Um, Tremere. Uh, yeah. Well, where yeah, where the old people joined did the uh, ritual thing. They killed... Uh, who was it? Mason? Someone? Yeah, yeah. The, but she was there, like, almost all the time. Uh, yes. Yeah, and season. some uh, helicopter dude showed up as soon as we left. Right. They were searching uh, the place, yeah? They were searching yeah. for something. Searching for you guys, maybe. Hope not. Mm -hmm. Well, they were searching for something, clearly. They, mm -hmm. they, they knew about the place and came there to check it out or something. Whoever it was. Mm -hmm. How long do we have into the night, though? Um, it was around Stop two. Me. Okay. So we have at least maybe... Two, say around two hours. Two, three two hours. hours. Yeah, two, three hours before the sunrise. All right. The scene opens in a pretty well lit room. The artificial fluorescent lights hanging from the ceiling give a flat buzzing sound as a uh, energy courses through them. 
a fly hums almost in sequence with the, uh, the hum of the lights. Flashes title a few years ago. A man of Asian descent in a business suit sits across a table at this restaurant. These obtrusive fluorescent lights. He holds himself with a strict and rigorous demeanor as the server comes and sets a uh, cup of tea in front of him. Door rings, the old metal bells clattering against themselves as someone enters into the restaurant. Soon shifts around, revealing that it's empty. Riley walks in. Man steps and gestures for him to sit down. I'm very Thanks. glad you have made this arranged time, Mr. Braxton. I understand you are very busy. Take a seat. Would you like any tea or other refreshment? Uh, I'll try it all tea. He nods, the server nods as well, and steps off. Mr. Nagamura is very pleased with the deployment of the brand. I will not bore you with the numbers unless you desire to go through them. The copy of the paperwork for the metrics I have with me. This is your copy. He slides a manila binder over. Upon the binder is the logo and label of the uh, company you've done business with. It was a... What kind of company was that again? One second. See, I'm not the only one who doesn't check notes. It's either Uniqlo or... What, what was the brand for, though? Makeup, clothing, uh, perfume, right? It was a fragrance. No, it was... Uh... It was a clothing brand. Clothing brand. Um, Japanese yeah. one. Yeah, Uniqlo is Japanese. Yep. Yeah, Uniqlo. He uh, slides it over. But there is some concern. Concern? Yes. Mr. Nakamura has... He considers this endeavor a risk. He has heard the advisement of the other directors. They are pleased with your solo endeavors on the YouTube website, but there is a cause for concern of the overall quality. Your content is not in question, Mr. Braxton. That is not at all. The controversies you have uh, made are part of what is helping to push the brand. They've, your image of the outsider fighting for 
the American values, freedom of speech, and this, that is part of the image that is wished to be kept. The problem is inherent in the quality of your editing procedures. Um, what's wrong with the, uh, editing? Well, we believe the preceding time where you handled this alone when handled alone did create a certain I, the term escapes me. A certain... I believe you know what I'm saying. Signature. But this signature is not something that gives comfort to our CEO. I see. Is there anything I can do to uh, appease him? We have a <clears throat> option that we have already taken. He picks up the teacup and sips it. His nerves betray him as he sets the cup back down and it rattles just slightly on the uh, saucer. We have taken the liberty of headhunting someone for you. Someone we believe will fit well and keep things within pleasing parameters for the company heads and perhaps help ease our CEO's worries. Go on. He uh, turns and uh, gestures. The server nods and steps to the back, says something to, to someone you can't see. A young man in a suit steps out, finally, you know, nicely combed hair, very well, you know, dressed fellow, uh, well kept. Um, the uh, the young man steps over. He's probably around twenty or so. Uh, he steps over. Um, Mr. Brexton, I would like to introduce you to Kent Nguyen. He has a degree in video editing and other more technical things which he can go over from a local college. Uh, Kent nods uh, at Savannah College of Art and Design, actually, sir. Ah, yes, indeed. He scored top marks in his class he was the valedictorian of his high school graduating class. As Nakagura believes, as I believe, he will help rein in your visual style. Kent steps forward, extending his hand. It's very nice to meet you, uh, Mr. Braxton. I, I look forward to working with you. Harley just replies and sup. Scene fades as you look into the man's face. His arm extended back to the room. As you watch his body become ash. And Joe steps away. Uh, 
Alright guys, welcome to this episode of uh, Shattered Visage. I uh, know it's been a long time. Uh, fucking hated being sick. <laughs> but uh, all better now, so we're, we're back at it. Hopefully it won't be too much of a bump in the road for us. Um, just take a moment to try and get in a character, think about what's going on the best you can. Uh, it's kind of kind, maybe some plot points get missed and lost and stuff from the time. Uh, I'm not gonna say I've got everything still in my head, uh, but we'll work something out of it. The main plot points will be there. We'll keep moving forward as we can. And this, I'm not gonna have a long break here because last time I did, I got content ID because of the one part of the song that sounds like the original song. <laughs> So uh, we'll just let it go a little short, and we'll start in like a minute. Anybody have any pressing questions? Scene resumes as Joe walks out the door at the apartment. Riley, Evelyn, and Iris are standing there in the aftermath as Kent's ashes still burn with hot embers on the floor of the room where he was technically reborn. Riley's sort of dazed. He's on his knees, sifting through the ash. Iris is on her phone. playing Candy Crush? Uh, she's looking up her um, her artiste. She's feeling a bit peckish. So she needs to get fed tonight, at least before going to bed. But she turn, she'll be turned into Evelyn and she's going to tell her you need to get this thing cleaned up. You have someone here who can take care of this. And she just gestures at everything. Assume the apartment's still looking very bloody. Yeah, it's pretty trashed. Yeah, it's pretty trashed. Evelyn? I don't really know what to do. Well, I think it's safe to say that uh, this apartment is... Uh... Well, I don't think you're getting your deposit back. What if we just set it on fire? Uh, we could like always that. blame it on Riley. That could work, but did you mention that police officer met you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, I think it would be a little unwise to set um, 
your apartment on fire. Do you have some sort of cleanup crew? Uh, well, let me check. And Iris is going through her contacts. She has one for a surveillance crew. And I think she has two dots left. Okay. And I would assume it would be a cleanup crew who... If you want one to, of them. Yeah, if you want to make that into a, a cleanup team, yeah. you can. Mm -hmm. My last one is now going to be Money Launderer. Sure. Person, yeah. Yeah. Um, matter of fact, I do. Great. Um. Let me give them a call. But like I said, this isn't free. They'll probably expect something. I can, I can probably pay. Evelyn's still in shock, so. <laughs> as much as vampires can be shocked. All right, let me get in touch with him. And she dials up the number. The phone clicks over that obvious tone of uh, connecting with a landline. After a couple of rings, uh, a voice, uh, a man's voice cuts in over. Johnson's vacuum repair. If it don't suck, it will. Hi, I'm um, I'm one of your customers, Iris Sancerre. I had a little problem with the uh, uh, with the uh, the Hoover Model Eight Eight Three, or we something different. Uh, something a little different, I should say. It's one of the older models. It's it's made of really bloody mess in my um in my f ap friend's apartment i loaned it to her you see oh uh, yep yeah, that's one thing you can hear some notes being uh scribbled on paper that's the thing you can count on friends for you loan them a tool it never comes back the same uh but no problem no problem what's the address uh yeah i will give that to you um and she, you know, she spits out the address. Uh, how urgent uh, the repairs needed? You got a big mess needing cleaned up? Uh, need that thing fixed pretty soon? Or uh, can it wait till the morning? Ah, uh, I would say that it needs to be done immediately. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, there is a, a bit of a service charge for late night calls and rush jobs. Just want to remind you that. Yes, I th I know the, your charges. And at the moment, my fr friend and I will, we're the ones who will take the responsibility. All right, let me just uh, get a few more notes down I here. Will, okay, uh, we'll I have a uh, we'll, we'll have a technician out in, let's say, half an hour. That's wonderful. All right. You can also bill me as well, and the and my you didn't have my business details yet. Yes, we do. Uh, well, we'll have you there. Uh, just make sure that the unit is somewhere accessible and uh, let's say the key is in the usual spot we ask. All right. One second. Evelyn? Yeah? All right. I arranged something. All right. I, I need the key for your... Um, for your address. 
for this little charming abode of yours. We're getting it cleaned up. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll go. I don't think. Yes, I don't think you're going to be sleeping here this this today. Most definitely not. Yes. Not so we need to put your yeah. We need to put your key somewhere that. Uh, our cleaning crew can access it. Is there a place you can put it in? It's, I guess usually under the doormat. Mm hmm. All right then. And Iris goes back to the phone and she said, Yes, the key to the boat will be, uh, it'll be under the doormat. Sounds good. We'll have somebody up there and uh, we'll try and get that thing uh, cleaned up and fixed for you. Uh, Bill will be in the mail. Start All right. 30 minutes. The phone clicks. Mm -hmm. Well, that's to... okay. Riley, we need to move. Riley's and... holding a glass and he's trying to scoop into it. Oh my lord. You have known nothing about housekeeping. At least at least put some aluminum foil, cover it up. It's going to spill everywhere in my car. As soon as she says aluminum foil, the Riley, the whole like scene changes for you. You're it's you're back in your apartment. The music's thumping. It's, it's a few years ago. Uh, Riley's uh, grabbing at a uh, well, it's like a a bowl that you're trying to to fill with marijuana. He's like, no, no, man, no, just just or it's not. Uh, sorry, not Riley. Uh, it's some guy near you. Kent's sitting there in his suit. His nice hair just like looking on, eyes wide. No, no, man, like you've got to just put aluminum foil on it. Like just poke some holes in it. Yeah, uh, like, hey. And the guy wraps it up, starts poking some holes, thumbs the uh, the pot on top of it, and uh, takes a hit. Kent leans forward uh, just over to Riley. Um, are, are you not worried that's going to cause some kind of chemicals or something I they say drinking out of cans can like cause Alzheimer's or something they ain't never tried to live you know what Ken I think you need to loosen up a bit I'm I, I've, I've I'm I'm sorry I've, this really isn't my scene if I could look at the videos that's um I'd be glad to to help out I put my arm around Kent and I take him into the corner and I'm like Kent 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 we have a a family here and our family is built on not only respect but mutual Happiness, indulgence, and a lot of pot, dude. And a lot of pot. So, uh, if you want to fully integrate into our little family, just gotta let your inhibitions melt away. Take the plunge. He uh, swallows hard and steps over. After like a small bit, uh, like the lights flashes, like time just speeds by in the memory, and uh, you see him just over there. Is his he's got his tie undone, several buttons unbuttoned, and he's like just kind of rocking back. I I can I it feels like it's like needing my my brain. Is that is that normal? <laughs> That's some good shit right there. He uh, points over at the golden statue or the bronze statue. I, I keep feeling like that thing is staring at me, man. Uh, 
as as he says that, you're immediately back to like scooping up ashes into this cup. Who called Joe? Was it Riley? Huh? Did you call Joe? Did Iris call Joe? No, I think Iris called Joe. When you use your accent when speaking out of character. <laughs> Method acting. I can't turn it off. I thought he was supposed to fix things and not completely destroy them, I guess. Well, we're already of the Shikiri paddle because, because of this mess here, which someone had dumped Kent right in, well, Kent or Kenny. Kent, right here in your uh, home. Nothing was going to get fixed from that moment. I wonder how he even got here. Like, well, someone left a card here. What card? Yes, there was a little card here that was left. A uh... no name was given. It just said that, uh, it just mentioned that we would uh, be happy that this problem has been dealt for us. I had a plan. What was your plan? It didn't involve slaughter. Mine didn't either. All right. Evelyn, pack your things, whatever you need. Because you cannot stay here in this place, and in half an hour, the cleanup crew are going to set this place right. All right. Riley, finish your little... whatever it is. You are attempting and get ready. We'll have to get out of here. This is so fucked. As he says that, the scene changes. Uh, Sedan pulls along the Savannah streets uh, in line with the other late night traffic. Savannah, another one of the many cities that never sleep. This always seems to ring true. It's the orange light cast from the street lamps reflects in shimmering patterns on the uh, hood of the vehicle as Dominic and Rowan drive along. Who? Who was driving again? I don't really remember. <laughs> I'm, it's my car, I'm driving. Yeah. yeah it's really Are you sure you want the old guy to drive? Yeah, because you'll get there eventually. Because I probably can't drive his car because it's so fucking old, I don't even know how it works. <laughs> it's not that old! Don't touch the radio! Oh wait, manual. <laughs> you know how to drive manuals? You have to start it with like. Yeah, uh, I would not drive manuals because <laughs> you, I'm You look over at the stereo. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a fucking, uh, it's like a what was that record player with the the big cone? A bit of a gramophone. Yeah. If you're nice, I'll put on a forty-five. <laughs> So, uh, Joe, uh, and who else, who else do you want to talk to? Uh, 
Tom? Yes? Should we try and find the rest and talk to them? Oh, I think it'll be a good time, yes. Not sure if they need to know everything that we found, but... Of course. Uh, can you get on your cell phone and uh, find where they are? I think my butter is dead. It definitely is. Using the the flashlight for so long uh, kind of killed my my cell phone. We might have to find. Well, I don't think there's any more payphones around town, but at least find somewhere where we can charge up. Would there be payphones still? Uh, very, very rarely. Uh, yeah, but if somebody knows where they are, it's wrong. There, there, there are, but they don't have uh, the actual thing to speak in it. It's cut off. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, they're yeah. vandalized. Yeah, yeah, no, that's accurate. In it. That's accurate <laughs> as fuck, too. Isn't you... it yeah. like 2016? Who has like who uses payphones now in these days? You see them. It, you do see them in Savannah, but I mean, it I've is seen them very in, I've rarely. seen them in, in Germany, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're in Germany, yeah, the T, the T Mobile spots. But, I've never but they're seen always any. fucked. They're always, yeah. they're always cut, you know, yeah. they're always cut. Yeah, they but, definitely don't exist here anymore. Well, how about we go to one of the churches? You're, you're a uh, man of a cloth. You should be able to ask them for some help. Sure, I'm not sure. It's the best place to go charge a phone. Any cafe would be good enough if it's open 24 hours. Coming from where you're at, um, avoiding any hostile districts to get to any place that might have a 24 hour access, you might as well just head to one of your havens because it's a drive either way. Uh, probably mine be closest. Sure. We come from the south. Drive around a bit and then go to my place. After a bit of uh, driving, you uh, you see the uh, flashing lights of uh, fire uh, fire department vehicles outside your house office. What happened now? Ah, uh, old Jenny isn't having a heart attack again. Poor old girl. As you get closer, you can see a pillar of smoke just dimly lit by the street lights ahead and the black charred ruin of the uh, front room of your home. Oh. A police officer flags you uh, to stop as car is they've got one lane of traffic blocked uh, and cars are moving along the other side hello officer he waves up just hold on just hold on uh, they're passing now you can go by in a second uh, officer that's my house what happened? He uh, seems to not hear you for a moment, and then you Doctor Park. Yeah. He looks over. Can can you pull off right here? Just pull off. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. He le leans into the radio on his shoulder, saying a few th things you can't hear. Yeah, uh, Dom. You broke up yes. a little bit, Obi. Yeah, Dom, I take this. I hand over the magazine from the base. Mm -hmm. So, oh, this is not going to be safe for me. 
I'll keep it safe. You want to get yourself home? What was that? You want to get yourself home? Oh, I don't think we're going to charge it in there anytime soon. No, over. Surely one of the officers can uh, charge it for you. Just, just, just say you need to try and get home. Yeah, I'll sure find a way. You go. Yeah. Deal yeah. with whatever this mess is right now. I'm gonna get out of the car. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna try to find a an officer that can direct me somewhere where I could charge the phone. Uh, the cops don't seem very helpful in uh, in directing you. They're kind of like, we're dealing with something right now. Sorry. As uh, Rowan, as you get out and walk over, um, some. Officers or some officials in more plain clothes uh, step over. You can see um, <clears throat> fire department uh, personnel still moving around the building. Dr. Park? Yeah. I walk over uh, shaking and looking worried. Uh, Detective Yeoman's, uh, glad to see you weren't in there. We were, uh, a bit worried. How, how did, uh, how did this happen? Uh, I don't have the final report from, uh, fire department, but, um, uh, initial look, then it's a not they're unsure uh most likely an electrical fire your neighbor called it in uh said it started in the uh front room there the fire department was able to respond before the uh damage got too severe but it's uh it's looking pretty rough in there uh, just sorry to say we were worried you got caught in it too uh, especially when we found the body Body? Uh, yes, sir. We were going to ask you about that. That's why we're here. Uh, do you know of who was uh, occupying the building in your absence? Uh, no one, uh, as far as I know, no one contacted me. Any uh, patients every... maybe waiting on you or anything like that? Uh, no, I uh, looked up and uh, put the close sign on. Uh, where were you at tonight, sir? Out trying to do some uh, fishing. Uh, some fishing, sir? It's a bit late. I'm not questioning it. Uh, just where where were you at? Uh, it was well, old friend. Back. Sorry, sir. Um, where were you at? Um, what was the name of the waterway? It was like Green River or something. Yeah, Green, the Green, uh, Green River. Uh, <laughs> we weren't so much looking for fish, we were just uh, talking with no person. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, um, we'll uh, we'll get you some paperwork, uh, and, and we'll get you those reports. Do you have anywhere to stay? Uh, no. No, I, I don't have uh, still around. I can stay with. Make me a wits awareness roll.
Um, as you're standing there talking, there's of course naturally like a crowd of people out, like their, you know, evening gowns and stuff like that. You see, like, a figure that almost immediately becomes lost in the crowd. Um, but it strikes you, um, from the distance because they step away walking with a cane. Uh, did I catch any details of the person, like, uh, coat, height, anything? No, not really. Uh, it's hard to make out from the distance. And you're wearing your reading glasses. <laughs> I always do that when I'm driving, so I can uh, read the speed of <laughs> Um, uh, I, I guess I can, uh, go stay at a hotel or, uh, uh, sorry, say that again. I, I, I can maybe stay at one of the hotels or something. Uh, well, let us know. Uh, we're going to do some work in this, uh, in investigation. Uh, I would suggest contacting your uh, insurance company. I assume you you own the building. Yeah, yeah. Um, they'll probably close uh, tonight. I don't know. I'll do that later. Right. Um, I would I would suggest contacting them. They might uh, reimburse you for anything spent on a hotel room. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Gonna be looking a little uh, lost, uh, looking towards the crowd. Uh, officers, is there any chance I can maybe collect a couple personal items? Sorry, say again. The personal items from the house. The fire department report would have any details about that. Uh, I don't know anything right now. Uh, and you're absolutely sure you didn't have any patients waiting on you or anything like that? Was your Were your doors locked? Yeah, they were locked. All right. Thank you, Mr. Park. Uh, we'll let you get to it. Um, do you have a number we can reach you at before I forget? <laughs> uh, Park gets out his phone and tries searching for the note with the phone number on it. After a moment, the uh, officer here. Uh, here's here's my card. You just you just call me when you. Uh, when you get settled in, okay? Sorry about this. Uh, uh, thank you very much, officer. No, he nods. As he does, scene fades. Dominic, I assume you were making haste to get home? Yeah, I'm gonna just hail a taxi or something and head back, make sure that my haven is safe. You uh you arrive at the church. Unlike you left it, however, uh, the lights are on. This is not uncommon. Sometimes your uh, congregation like to uh, to come in and tend to the grounds or worship when you're not there. Do I see any 
cars parked outside that I recognize. There is a deep green sedan. Uh, you do recognize it, though. Uh, the woman's name was Anita, a member of your congregation for a few years now. I guess I'll go head inside, see if she's around. You uh, press through the doors of the, the church. You see, and this is uncommon for the moment, all the uh, candles, um, you know, the, uh, one for memorial and such, uh, and prayer, are all lit at the head of the altar. Just at the uh, at the floor of the altar, the foot of it, kneeling before it, um, is the woman uh, Anita. You, know, you could you recognize her profile. She's seems to be kneeling in prayer at uh, at the at the altar. Um. I'm going to walk up close by uh, and just wait for her to finish. As you uh, step around her side, you can see her profile. You see on her face, uh, it seems to be uh, like a streak of blood coming down from her eyes. You can hear her muttering something in Spanish. It sounds like a prayer. Uh, Anita, is everything all right? She turns to face you. Her her eyes like there's like trails of blood coming from you. you. See, like it looks like her eyes have been gouged from her head. She uh, turns to look over at you. Uh, and she stands up and kind of stumbles forward. She doesn't seem to be in any pain or distress. F Father Maya? Is, is that you? Yes, it's me. What, what happened? What is going on? A miracle. A miracle that you... You promised for us. You... You notice now seeing her before you... Her skin... Is of a much paler... Complexion. And you see also... At the corner of her lips... There's more blood. A miracle... I'm gonna quickly use Sense the Unseen to see if uh, she's turned or something into something supernatural. You immediately recognize that she is kindred. She looks up with her eyeless orbitals staring directly at your eyes. Your your son he has come he's brought us the blood a miracle just like you said. I feel no pain all I had to do was give my eyes. My son? Who who did this to you? You you, you must we speak about it in the downstairs? Is there someone else with you, father? No, 
I'm alone, but uh, we can move into my office where it's my private. He, he's. Why, why do you? Are you questioning me on this for my faith? I, I, I do not understand, Padre. I am not questioning your fate, Anita. I just want to know what happened exactly. You are Clearly. The lamb has brought us the miracle. The blood. We are family now. Your son. Kenneth. been reborn and he shed your gift of the blood with us she staggers forward and then you can see it's like her demeanor shifts a bit to that of pain and she like grabs down at her her stomach but this this hunger. Am I... Am I failing in your eyes, Padre? No. You have not failed. Kenneth is the one who failed me. He shouldn't have done this to you. Not yet. You weren't ready. He said this was from you. And when you came to, to tell you the miracle, to tell you he is shepherding the others. Where? Where did he do this to you? Where is he? I must speak to him. They said it was the place where you first saved him. The scene fades away. Joe, what you doing? Well, after uh, dropping off the streetwalker, I'm driving in the direction of the of the meeting location and uh, as soon as I get there I uh, make sure to stop <laughs> at a reasonable distance like a block or so uh, get out of the car and look around I thought I think uh, the place where it, we were that uh, the meeting place was in the west of the city. True. You uh, get out and look around. Mm, give me a wits awareness. You look around, the place is pretty much devoid of uh, anything of note. It's out of the way, it's pretty closed off, and most of all, there's no observers uh, from the roads or anything, but there also doesn't seem to be anybody here. 
Mm. So, uh, I assume that whoever uh, wanted to set up this meeting set it up because of the reason that it's really hard to get to it without being spotted. So, I'm trying to look for a location where one would be to keep an eye over the place. Um, it's kind of like the back part of like this U-shaped uh, strip mall where the back side is like the loading area and stuff like that. And this is where you're at now. Mm -hmm. uh, there's like abandoned box trucks there and stuff like that. Well, not abandoned, but just not in use. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you do see, uh, it looks like the back side of a supermarket. Excuse me. Um, called the Piggly Wiggly. Uh, there is a uh, like a loft with windows looking down in this area. Yeah, that's probably where uh, the loft seems like a good uh, place. I want to try to get to it without being spotted from it. All right. Uh, as you move over, go ahead and make a wits stealth. Is it uh, okay? Yep, yeah, got it. And quickly make your way away from your uh, your car and over <clears throat> to one of the, the the back loading doors or whatever. There's a pretty big padlock with a chain on the door, or well, not on the chain, it's just at the bottom. You've, you've seen service loading areas. You've got a nice big lock uh, on the back door. Yeah, I'm gonna try to lock pick it, because I actually have lock picks. All right, Dex and Larceny. Yes, I have Larceny as well. And plus one. Unless the lock picks say no, they're just, uh, they're just one. It takes a bit of doing, I, um, but I you... But you no? What, did you? Looks right. No, uh, no, no. It's right. Okay. It takes a bit of doing, um, but you're able to pick the lock. Uh, but it, I mean, you're there for a lot longer than you want to be. The, uh... Mm -hmm. The lock clicks, clanging a bit against the metal, but it's that flat, like, sheet aluminum kind of, you know, it doesn't make much of a, a noise beyond a slight rattle. Uh, mm -hmm. You slide the lock away, and uh, you're able to lift the door up if you'd like. Yeah, I'm going to do that. You do. It is pitch black inside this uh, this loading bay. Okay, I'm gonna activate Eyes of the Night, or what it's called. Eyes of the Beast. Okay. That doesn't need a rouse check, does it? No. Didn't think so. Alright, uh, as you close your eyes and focus your will into the blood, you open them again in just a regular like supermarket loading uh, area or offloading area is just cast in this, this red glow of your vision. You see uh, several products have been st stacked up and wrapped in the, uh, the cellophane uh, put off to the side. There's other things that's been stacked around uh, trolleys and, and other uh, aid equipment around. There's a large set of uh, steel stairs leading up to a catwalk that looks like it leads to a loft which or an office that is around where that loft should be yeah i'm gonna move that way i pull up my hoodie just to make sure that uh, if there is a camera i don't uh, end up yeah. easily too easily recognized yeah and i move in Quietly and carefully. Go ahead and make um, another wits and stealth roll. You 
you make your way up to the uh, top of the stairs. Uh, the office has these big open windows, but they're blocked by shutters on the other side. The office door is sitting just cocked open. I think to myself, clearly there's someone in there. Or has been, at least. I'm gonna peek inside. Slowly, carefully, you press your palm against the door, just sliding it just enough to be able to see inside. Inside the room, there's a, a desk and some other things, like a pen board. You don't see anybody in there. It's pretty much standard stuff. There are those open windows facing the uh, the yeah, outside. Yeah, the parking lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or the loading dock. Yeah. I'm going to open the door and step inside. You step in, uh, give me an, uh, b -b 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 give me a wits awareness again. Wits awareness. Two. Okay. As you step in, um, you don't see anything much out of place, except where the other like uh, seats are pushed up to their uh, desks. The one in the middle that would be like looking out over uh, is turned and set aside. Watch the window. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, there is a white plastic bin on one of the desks, and sitting inside of it, it says "lost and found." Uh, sitting inside of it. You see a cheap flip phone that has been snapped in half. I'm grabbing that phone. As you pick it up, you notice that the battery has been removed, and as well as uh, any data cards or anything like that. I wonder if Marcel can do something with this. I'm going to put it in my pocket and quietly go outside and put the padlock back. Just before you turn away out the window, you see a figure in a uh, dark hoodie move over to your car, run their hand across it. They're built like... Uh, Pretty, pretty, pretty decent sized person. Run their hand across the car. Look back, look back up. The shadows obscure in their face, and they just haul ass uh, out, outside the area. Clearly, that is the same guy that was in our haven. I'm slowly walking outside. There's no point in chasing him. I'm going to put the padlock back on. And I'm going to check where he touched the car. I'm not going to touch it. I just look to make sure there is nothing there. That he didn't put something on my car or whatever. You see nothing but streaks where finger, like oil from fingerprints has been left. Good. I'm going to need a contact to get those fingerprints. I'm going to get in the car. And drive to the common haven. I turn, turn my cell phone back on. All right. And there the scene sits for a moment as your car dry, departs the scene. Your car pulls out onto the road, takes the turn towards the direction, 
sitting in uh, another vehicle, a smaller sedan. Sorry, no, actually a two-door. See this man with a gray hoodie pulled up close to his face, dark sunglasses on. He just watches as your car turns, drives off. He lets out a sigh. <sighs> next time, next time, next time. And we're going to take a small, let's say, 10 minute break. We'll just say 10 after. We'll come back. Good, I can go have a smoke. Yeah, yeah I'll make some tea. And that. Make some tea. Um, that is obviously a nine-minute break, not sure. a ten-minute break. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. It really is. Yorby.
Everybody back. Nobody's back? I'm back. I'm back. I guess someone took absent, um, decided to take advantage of my absence and post in the planning channel. Yar har deedly dee. <laughs> Anyway, I decided to cheat and I decided to go get the rest of my pasta because I'm feeling really hungry. <laughs> I decided to get myself some alcohol. Mm. I got some. We can well. switch, Lisa. No, I have like not wow. even a fifth of vodka left, so I I don't know that it's gonna be worth anything. Yeah, vodka's good. That's yeah, but that's like dubiously vodka. It's not really labeled, so it could be anything. Did, it's spirits. Did someone like make it in their backyard? No, I, I got it from a store, but it's uh, it's just generic it's quality alcohol. Quality spirit was <laughs> okay. We're not sure what we fermented to make this, but it'll get you fucked. If last time's hangover wasn't any indication, it was so bad, guys. You need to buy this, like, there's this cherry liquor that's, that's, um, native to Romania. 
No, it could be another. other It's countries. plum. Plum brandy. No. no, I'm not talking about plum brandy. I'm talking about a cherry brandy. That sounds delicious, actually. Anyway. It, it, right, have... right to it. I'll let you know how my makeshift ma Back apple tea is. to it. Scene opens again with the familiar tagline of a few years prior. It's late evening. The sky is overcast, hiding the sun away on some dark winter day where it gets, or the night comes quickly. And thus, the creatures of the night pour out of their holes a little bit earlier. In this particular instance, a gentle white light emanates from a large school marquee. Savannah uh, Middle School has a those big black plastic letters spell out uh, gymnastics uh, co you know, gymnastics comp tonight and gives the time or this afternoon really the time provided is not quite late for the young students as the doors open and the children exit with their parents uh, towards the vehicles man stands watching at a uh, chain link fence his eyes moving around the group he squints a bit and then is startled from the noise of someone approaching him. He turns back uh, can, can I help you, Father? They're a bit younger, but you could wouldn't tell it Dominic Meyer stands. What's uh, going on here? I, I was just... Just pa passing through, the man says. His skinny frame <clears throat> is obfuscated only slightly by the uh, puffy jacket he's wearing. Given the time of uh, year, the, the clocks have changed. It's still not quite cold enough to warrant this hiking jacket he wears. His skin is pale, his face unshaven, with sores festering all across the, his exposed skin. His hair is matted and unkempt. Uh, it's just, uh, just, just passing, passing through. And you decided to stop right here in front of a school. He uh, licks his lips, looks down at the ground. You don't have to preach a sermon to me, Father. I'm, they don't. There's nobody usually here now. And, uh, he his, he looks up, looks at you in the face. The um, the the playground's a good place to shoot up. He swallows hard as the words leave his mouth.
Maybe you should uh, step away. Maybe I should come with me. I can help you out. I'm, I'm not interested in what God has to say or what I'm doing. I get preached at enough around Thanksgiving. There is uh, other ways of being helped that don't involve God. If you come with me, just listen for a while, you'll understand. He looks over at a very particular... Uh, he just looks over very particularly at one of the, uh, uh, it's like a, like a little house built for kids to play in. And he looks back. You, you got a bathroom where we're going? Yeah. Sure. It's gotta be warmer than sitting out here. He nods. You're not like uh, the other priests I've run into. The other priests are not as uh, open as I am towards the less fortunate. What's your name, Father? Dominic. You can call me Father Dominic. I'm kidding. As he says that, the scene shifts as Dominic, you arrive at the, uh, the middle school it's not changed too much in the last few years, but it definitely looks a lot different. Completely pitch black in this moonless night. You see a few cars that you recognize parked out front, around the uh, well, nearer to the uh, playground, the Fitzden playground. Um, gonna look around to see if there's any people standing around. You don't see any uh, anybody at this part. Uh, a rather large building, um, like looks like a new addition, blocks off view uh, towards the main part of the playground. I'm gonna just park my car and uh, walk towards the playground. When you make your way up to the chain link fence, there is a uh, a door, and the, normally there's a lock affixed to it, but you can see the chain just down on the ground. The lock's been opened. You step through, your footfalls resound heavily against the, uh, the, the, the ground below, making rhythmic thumps along with every step seem to resonate louder than they should. Then the texture the sound changes to match as you step out onto the uh, wood chip that have been scattered around all the uh, playground equipment. As you turn the corner, you see the members of your congregation all standing or 
kneeling naked out on this playground. Your clothes torn off before you in between where you are and they are. And they stand around Kenny. Two of them at his wrists drinking. All of them their eyes gouged from their skulls. How many of them do you say? Uh, ten. Is he saying anything, Kenny? No, he's just looking up. Uh, to the sky, his arms outstretched. His sh he's got pants on, but no shirt. You can see scars running all across his body, particularly the scars of track marks on his arms. I'm just gonna slowly walk up to him. Uh, so that I'm like a foot in front of him when he looks down. You can hear the others like muttering prayers and stuff as you uh, pass through them. They don't seem to notice you. As you get closer, he slowly lowers his head, pulls his wrists away from the blind ones that are drinking. Father Dominic, it's a miracle. I'm glad you finally made it. Didn't need to tell you, did, did she say? She did. What are you doing here, Kenny? Where is she? Did you bring her? No. She's back at the church. Well, I am reborn whole. I just, just, it's like you said, the, the blood heals. The miracle was within me, and it's like you said, we, we share the miracle. Anita was the first, so I left her as the Metatron voice of, of us. Just to, just to remind you where we would be, where I would be. I don't have it in me to bless the rest of them with the miracle, but I've, I've told them what the price is. And they've willingly paid it. She was the first, but now that you're here, we can we can make them all whole. Share the blood and bring them into our fold and shepherd the weak, the lamb. You healed me. miracle has occurred. Who told you this, Kenny? Who told you this was the price? The, the voice. The vo what voice? The voice. The, the blood. I hear it like you do. 
I understand. Like you do. Anita understands. Just, just, she's just, she's just not, she hasn't had time for the full clarity. I was hoping you, you could show her that and then bring her here and we could be together. And when their sight returns, we would heal the world. I don't feel those urges anymore, Father. I don't want to do the things I did before. It's just that one need, the blood, is speaking to me. I'm gonna raise my hands with my one hand with my palm forward and put it on his chest and say, You think you understand, Kenny? You, sh you showed you me. You don't understand anything. Help me to understand. I want to be like you. You are not ready, Kenny. None of them were ready. And you will never be ready. No. No, 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 no. I'm... no, that's... no, this is a test. This is a test. My faith is strong. I... I can hear the voice like you. did this. I heard your voice and I heard the, the blood. The others are still praying. All, like one begins speaking in tongues and flailing. Yes. Yes. I I love I love them. I, I love you. Just as you love us. We are the same, Father. <laughs> the blood is here. He taps on his chest. Here. In me the same as he reaches out to like touch your chest. 
same as in you. If you want to save them, come with me. Come back to the church. Bring everyone back to the church. And I'll show you the real power of the blood. Okay. He nods. Okay. I, I didn't know where else to go. This, this place is... No one comes out here at night. I didn't know if the church would be okay. If I did something wrong, you'll forgive me, yeah? We'll fix this, Kenny. We'll fix it together. Scene pulls back from the two men surrounded by the several f naked followers and back further to the shadows looming at the edge of light. A figure with hollow eyes and twisted features looks on. A twisted smile curls on his face. So, what's Evelyn, Riley, and Iris up to? I guess we're going to Iris's car, I guess. Oh, you guys yeah. would have been there by now. Where did you guys go? I oh. would have... I would have dropped Riley off first. To his Wait, drop me off. Don't, isn't it in danger? He'll be fine. I mean, he might die, but he'll be fine. <laughs> we'll know what'll happen to him. Shouldn't we, like, stick together, maybe? You want to bunker down in my haven. Um... I mean... Yeah? Only... Only for tonight. And then afterwards I'm moving. Three weeks later... Yeah. Evelyn, could you pass the syrup? <laughs> Can we swing by my house first, though? I think I need to pick something up. Well, of course, uh, your chauffeur will get you there. Alright. Let's... You have to make it quick. and But none of your little paraphernalia. I don't yep. want weed in my place. Don't worry, no weed. It'll only take a second. I don't even want anything stronger. What do you consider stronger? <laughs> anyway, alright, yeah, you you guys yeah. quickly get to uh, to Riley's place and he hops out and heads up. What are you doing, Riley? Um I I don't think this place is safe. So first off I go to my statue and uh, try to pick him up. He's, he's kinda big, but I can manage. Um <laughs> yeah, I'll no. off the stand. <laughs> Yeah, no, this but is a I'm fucking still... massively heavy bronzed person. <laughs> yeah. You're like waddling it through. I'm, Do... I'm trying to get through the door and uh, 
I'm like, hey, Evelyn, can you help? Uh, okay. You step I... in to see what he's wrestling with and see the most just ostentatious, like, gaudy. Gl- gl- yeah, gaudy, gleaming, bronzed statue with, like, a straw hat and a Hawaiian shirt draped on it. Uh, not only that, but it's, um... I'm holding on to, like, it's it's junk. <laughs> is it... Is it a naked statue? Oh, yeah. Naked statue. It's It seems to be a depiction of a, an androgynous man. A, a de- wasn't he kind of obese, too? Like, um, no, not in this form. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's just kind of stuffed into the this masculine like uber statue, but it's like yeah, okay. Yeah, um, Evelyn, can you uh, grab the uh, grab the, the legs. left testicle? Yeah, just just grab the legs. Um, so Evelyn's treated to like an upskirt as we try and shuffle him out out the door. Um, how are you gonna fit this in the car? We'll, ju- we'll just thread it through the uh, center console there. Um, yeah. So we p- we'll put it in like head first and stuff, and then Evelyn will just see like this this head. Uh, to be honest, so we're shuffling is, towards her. Ours is card, like one of the seats can be pulled in, for, the back seats could be like put up uh, below. Like it can be pushed Fold forward. Yeah, Ain't in time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's just shove it in the center. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> is that a euphemism? So, uh, so yeah, it, it'll it'll just it'll just be in the center console. So, when so in the car. So, so after a right bit, after a bit, Iris, you see him and Evelyn coming down with this, just like. You're expecting like a suitcase, maybe two, you know, because oh, it's, oh, it's one night. Uh, but he comes down with this like gleaming, just ridiculous statue. What is that god awful monstrosity? That's- Riley, you hear a voice in your head. Did I if she calls me a monstrosity again, I will rip her throat out. Shush you, we're our guest. Don't shush me, boy. Are you it's talking? It's just a temporary situation. Oh, no, what? What, what are you talking? Are you speaking? I, I was, I didn't, I didn't say anything. Oh, how can I be mad at you, my perfect angel? I'm so sorry I got mad. You can shush me if you need to. Is this your friend? Sorry, I yelled at you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I love you. Are uh, you still, Riley? You're not on anything right now, are you? Um. Okay, I may, I might have um polished off some of my staff while I was in there. Riley, did did you get me to? Beautiful, relatively speaking, kindred women for my blood. I'm so thirsty, but I don't know about kindred girls. Hmm. I'm so. So, um. Only for one night now. Move along, though. And I told you, no. I don't want any weed or any hard stuff of yours in. Oh, bossy, this one, she's the top, no? <laughs> um. Alright, quickly, um. Is there, wait, is there anything else I can get from the house? I, I guess. Um, I guess, I guess. Uh, I'll get an overnight bag. Um, no, no cocaine, obviously. Actually, maybe a little bit. Just oh my god! 
She's gonna fucking kill you if she finds <laughs> just, a little, just a little cocaine, I'll stuff inside a t shirt, they went there. Um and I guess I'll take my Evangelion DVD as well. You know, I'm pretty sure Evelyn's just about to like go that. into a hunger uh rage because I've got four points in it. Yeah. And I haven't three points as well. Yeah. I haven't rolled No, you wouldn't rouse for between sessions, so it's alright. Oh okay. Oh yeah and I'll take I'll take um yeah the essentials. All right. And I'll come out. One container, 500 latex gloves, one DVD Evangelion, two <laughs> bottles of lotion. <laughs> oh, I hope he's taking some Kleenex <laughs> and a garbage bag. 500 <laughs> yards of cellophane. That's not mine. Is that a cowbell? <laughs> what the hell is this? It's well, yeah, uh, plastic, plastic wrap. wrap. Yeah. Plastic wrap. So, yeah. Worse, it's a tail butt plug. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I am regretting this already. Hey, he's got to make some money somehow. He's got to. Just be glad you don't have uh, everybody else going around as well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so you get your stuff, you head back down, uh, you see the those two are like just eyeing this ridiculous statue as you, you get closer. I, I can explain, but I won't. I would really like you to, but we don't have much time now. The sun will be up soon. I don't know about you, but uh, I'd like to be the behind closed doors. Agreed. I was sort of like, once everything settles, she just like... She like, uh, zooms off at least. I mean, not like... in a hurry, but it's... Reasonably so that hopefully she won't get pulled over. Mm -hmm. right. Give me a second. You guys uh, head on direct course for your place. Mm -hmm. The Froomies now. Yay. Joe, what are you doing? I will shoot you myself if you Well, can. as I'm noticing that uh, it's actually getting really oh. early, <laughs> I'm gonna divert uh, towards my own heaven. Haven, I mean. My own personal heaven. And try to make sure that I'm not followed. I'm getting paranoid at this point. Alright, guys, give me one second. Talk amongst yourselves. Should we talk about I think you, I think you're in trouble there, man. Yeah, I, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I wonder who uh, took this guy. Well, I'm gonna find out soon enough. Oh, but you, you you're Tremere, right? You do uh huh. Uh huh. You can hide shit from me, man. I mean, I don't know what to do with the other fucking ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I suddenly realize I can, like, since I have Riley in my arms grip, I can, like, kill him right then and there. Yeah, you could, but I don't think you'll do that. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully, she doesn't find the cocaine that you brought with you. <laughs> uh, it's only a kilo. 
fucking brick. Where did you hide a brick of cocaine? I said I stuffed it in a t-shirt. <laughs> when you pick me to a mouthpiece. Yeah, that is not like a minor offense, is it? Uh, yeah. don't, don't worry, the butt plug's in a brown bag. <laughs> She's in this business, though, and you... Of the, yeah, and you brought like a kilo of cocaine to this thing. Well, you know, if, I, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm if I'm staying a staying a while. Oh, she you only staying the night. Well, uh, when you say that, uh, I I'm saying that, and <laughs> and she's not going to want you guys there for it. God no. Out of all the people, she'd rather have Joe and Dominic there. Oh come on, let's play Happy Families here. I mean, <laughs> what about it? No. There's, there's some shit going down. We're all in the same uh, team, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering who the hell is stalking us, man. It's the same guy, yeah. The, whoever was in our haven was uh, oh, the same person trying to contact, right? I think. Lisa, you here? <sighs> oh, okay. Oh yeah, Mac, I forgot to tell you that is Joe has good music. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, speaking of music, uh, I missed your earlier message because I posted that five, that remix, the Linux, uh, Linux remix. Yeah, uh, yeah, and you were like, "Oh, but it's so slow," and I was like, "Yeah, it's a trailer though for him." Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but it hey was guys, like, really good and creepy, so that's why I thought you guys yeah. might enjoy it. Hey, Lisa, you're back. Uh, I have to leave the session, so I think Chris is going to NPC me if he needs to. There's a little bit of an emergency. So, sorry. No worries, no worries. Life comes first, so we'll yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. Take care. See Have see fun, you. guys. You too. Yeah, but the trailer is actually pretty good, though. Yeah. I kind of want to watch that movie. Yeah. Which movie is this? Uh, Us. The spider no. Yeah. Oh yeah, into the yeah that one is there. And there was something else there. Yeah, and then there was Us as well. By Jordan Peele. Yeah. But I've been listening to the music from the Spider Verse one, and the music is great, actually. It's a really good soundtrack they put it together. What numbers to dial? You gonna be here for a while? I'm gonna call my crew. You gonna call your crew? We can rendezvous at the bar around two. Plans to leave, throw the keys to little C's. Pull the truck up front and roll up the next month so we can steam on the way to the telly. Go fill my belly. A T bone steak, cheese, eggs, and Welch is great. Conversate for a few, cause in a few we gonna do what we came to do. Ain't that right, boo? Forget the telly, we just go to the crib and watch a movie in the jacuzzi. Smoke L's while you do it. Is this 90s? Yeah, this is uh, uh, old school. Ah, okay. 
I had to guess, but I wasn't sure. Sorry about that, guys. Um, is it okay if we call the session here? Yep. Yeah, it's fine. Cool. It's fine. Yeah, well, because it's also, we're all on our way to our own havens, so... Yeah, yeah, it's a good moment, I think. So it's yeah. good. All right. Yeah, oh, okay. We'll handle uh, XP and stuff. It's a good session, actually. It was a good net one to actually get on back on our training wheels, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. Uh, just thought about Ken. Yeah. We'll pick up everything maybe yeah. next week, and we'll... You can sure. have to give him the proper send-off. You mean yeah. a pile of ash? <laughs> oh, God. Tell me you do not bring this. <laughs>